Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning to all my students. Okay, so we are at the end of the call, uh, lecture for topic of probability, three of three here now. So in this video, we are going to look at the both of conditional probability and independent events. So pro conditional probability is that the event will occur given that another event has already occurred. Okay. So probability of B considered as a what we call event that already occurred and A will occur. Okay. So property of A given B. So two and A and B are two events such that property of A is all given here. So find property of A union intersect B and also property of A given B. Okay, so for this one here, it is property of A union B plus property of A plus property of B minus property of A intersect B. So this is here. Okay, so then um, bring these two to the left side and times with negative so it give you property of A plus property of B minus property of A union B equal to the property of okay sorry I think that uh, I rewrite all this Okay, so then bring these two to the left side become negative and multiply with negative. So then probability of A no. A intersect B equal to the probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A union B. Okay, so then um, property of A equal to 1 over 3 plus property of B 1 over 4 minus property of A union B is 1 over 2. So then, okay, make it all equal to 12. So 3 times 4, 3 times 4 equal to 12, 3 times 4 equal to 12, so 1 times 4. And this is 4 times 3 and 2 times 6. So 4 plus 3 equal to 6. Min 4 plus 3 equal to 7. Minus 6 is 1 over 12. And then property of A given B. For this one here is a property of A intersect B divided by the property of B. And it is equal to A intersect B. A intersect B. We have found it first on here. It is 1 over 12. Property of A intersect B is 1 over 12. So then property of A intersect B is 1 over 12 divided by property of B. 1 over 4. Okay. So bring us here become 4 over 1. So, 4 divided by 12 equal to 1 over 3. And for C, it is probability of B intersect, inter, we call intersect A divided by probability of A. Okay. Probability of B intersect A or A intersect B is to, I mean, they are equal. Okay. You may use this 1 over 12. 1 over 12. Divide by probability of A, which is 1 over 3. So, looking up here, become 3 over 1. So, 3 divided by 12 is 1 over 4. Okay. So, example 2. 
30 professors out of 100 who are examined were found to be overweight, 10 of them had high blood pressure, only 4 professors who were not overweight, okay, not overweight that had high blood pressure. So, fibrity of all this. Okay, class, to solve this question, let's extract. Okay, let's extract or take all this information, 30 professors of 100, then for all this, and we put them all the information in one simple table. Okay. So then we divide it into weight and over, overweight W and not overweight or W complement. And then high blood pressure H and not high blood pressure H complement. So then according to the question, 30 out of 100. So the total of professors is all 100 and 30 of them are found to be overweight. 30 of them is overweight. Okay. Only okay, 10 of them have high blood pressure. 10 of 30 has high, we call high blood pressure. Only 4 professors who were not overweight. Okay. 4 professors who were not overweight but 10 had high blood pressure. Okay, so we need to complete all this recall recall box here with a value one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, meaning we need to make some calculation, simple calculation. Ten plus something equal to thirty, so thirty minus ten equal to twenty. So uh, hundred minus thirty, seventy. Ten plus four, fourteen. Uh, okay, seventy minus four equal to sixty-six. Sixty-six plus twenty equal to eighty-six. So to make sure that this table is correct, so thirty plus seventy equal to hundred. It mentioned in the earliest in the question, the total of professors is 100. So, 14 plus 86, 14 plus 86 is also equal to 100. If it's not, then you may find, please double check, where is the number, we call the value which is not, we uh, call the correct one and make a copy of your own correction. Okay, so now, question A, find the probability of professors who are overweight and high blood pressure. Okay, so find the probability that the professor is overweight if he had a blood pressure. So, according to the question, find the probability that the professor is overweight if he had a blood high blood pressure. Meaning, high blood pressure is already occurred, but then this will occur. Okay. So then it is probability of W intersect with high blood pressure divided by the probability of high blood pressure. The intersection between W and H, which is 10 over 100 here. 10 over 100. Divide by probability of high blood pressure, 14. Okay. 14 over 100. So simplify this, it's going to give you 14 over 10 
or 5 over 7. Okay, so 10 over 100 times print this above here, I come out with 100 over 14. Okay, 100 divided by 100, so 10 over 14, 5 over 7. And question B, the probability of, uh, what's the question just now? <coughs> Find the probability that professor will not have high blood pressure, will not have high blood pressure if he is overweight. So means that has no high blood pressure, but then it is he is overweight, so probability of H complement intersect with Overweight divided by the probability of overweight. Okay, so this is H complement intersect with W. H complement intersect with W. Okay, H complement and W, which is 20. 20 over 100 divided by probability of overweight, 30 over 100. So again, brings up here, switch the position upside down, something like this. 20 over 100 times weight 100 divided by 30. Okay, so 100 divided by 100, then come up with 2 over 30. Okay, the probability rule for conditional event given here. Okay, so probability of A intersect B equal to probability of B multiplied with the probability of A given B. So, actually that this equation is actually derived, I'm told that we call, we make a, we call adjustment from this equation. So, multiply with probability of B and probability of B here. So, we cross multiply it. Okay. <coughs> okay, then Harry travels to work by either root A or root B. The property that he chose, root A is 1 over 4. The property that he laid for work, he chooses root A is 2 over 3. And all this. Okay, you read up by yourself. <coughs> okay, so refer to the questions. And now we are going to come up with what we call a probability tree diagram okay so if i read the question harry travels to work by either root a or root b so it's either root a or b okay the probability that you choose root a is one over four okay so if Mention here one of the stand here is one over four, so the other one it is three over four. Find that the property that he is late for work. Okay, if he late for work and L complement means that he, he is he is not late for work. Same goes to this one here. If he late for work, if we use the root B and another one is not late. Okay, the probability that he is late for work if choose root A, if he late is 2 over 3. So another one here is 1 over 3. So 2 over 3 plus 1 over 3 equal to 3 over 3 or equal to 1. And the probability that he is late for work if he chooses root B is 1 over 3. So here is 2 over 3. So, what is the probability that he is late for work on a particular day? So, if he we call probability that he is coming late for a particular day is okay means that for question A, what is the probability that he is late for work on a particular day? Okay, so means that we focusing okay. This is the starting point. We have a choice of root A and end up with L here and also using root B and end up with a lid here for question A. So it is a 
1 over 4 multiplied with 2 over 3. Okay, 1 over 4 multiplied with 2 over 3 plus with, okay, if he use root A and he is late, plus with, if he use root B and if he is late, so then it is 3 over 4 multiplied with 1 over 3. Okay, so you recall, press the calculator or you make it recall, uh, count it manually. Okay, so if we if you call it manually, it's okay, but then use a calculator and it give you five five over twelve. Okay. And question B. What is the question B then? Given that he is not late for work. Okay, before that. For question B. Given that he is not late for work, what is the probability that he choose root B? Given that he is not late for work. Okay. Given that he is not late for work. So, late for work, he is not late for work is something that already occurred. Okay. So, what is the probability that he chose the root of B? This is future. That might be if he used the root B. But this one is not late for sure. Okay, so means that is a property of B intersect with not late divided by the property of not getting late. Okay, so class. Okay, class. For this question, uh, property of B using root B and is intersect with not late. B multiplied with 2 over 3 or not getting late. But then for this one here now. Okay. For this, we need to consider both of using root A and L complement here. Plus with using root B and end up with L complement. So, probability of, uh, for probability of L complement equal to, uh, 1 over 4, 1 over 4, plus times with 1 over 3, plus with probability of using root B, which is 3 over 4, and multiply with not late here, L complement, 2 over 3. Okay, so then here now it is over 12, 1 times 1 equal to 1, plus 3 times 2 equal to 6, which is 7 over so, it is now probability of B intersect with a late, B intersect with not late, which is 3 over 4 times 2 over 3 divided by 7 over 12. Okay, so use a calculator, try to get answers here is 6 over 7. Independent events. If A and B are independent events, it means that outcome of one does not affect does not affect the outcome of one other. Then property of A given B is property of A, and property of B given A equal to property of B it means that the event of A has nothing to do with B. Does not affect at all. Okay. Okay, so property of A intersect B is a big given that. Okay. okay, so please try to remember all this. Okay. Example 4. Suppose two events A and B are independent. Given property of A 0 0.4 and property of B 0 0.25. Find property of A intersect B. Okay. So to answer these two questions here now, for A, probability of A intersect with B equal to probability of A times probability of B, which is 0 0.4 times 0 0.25 
equal to 0 0.1 okay and here property of a union b equal to property of a plus property of b minus property of a intersect b okay the thing is for this one here now it is property of A plus property of B minus property of A multiplied with property of B independent. Okay. So then property of A equal to 0 0.4 plus 0 0.25 minus this one we can get here 0 0.1 and the total is 0 0.5. A, B, and C are three events such that A and B are independent. A and C are mutually exclusive. So, given all the values of property of A, B, property of A, property of B, property of C, and we given them. So, find property of A unit delta. Okay, so for question A and B and C. Okay. For question A, property of A union B equal to, again, property of A plus property of B minus property of A intersect B. Okay, mention the question that A and B are independent, meaning this is property of A multiplied with property of B. Okay, so what is the value of property of A given in the question then? 0 0.4 0 0.4, 0 0.2 Okay And then 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 Minus the multiplication of 0 0.4 times 0 0.2 Okay. So 0 0.4 plus 0 0.2 minus 0 0.08, I think so. It is 0 0.52. Okay. Question B. Property of C given B. Okay. And between C and B is property of C intersect B divided by so it is property of C intersect B given in the question that B intersect B C intersect B is 0 0.1 divided by uh, property of B is 0 0.2 it is 1 over 2 or 0 0.5 uh, this one property of C intersect B please refer to the question in the record given here we are given in the question is property of B intersect C. Okay, it's all the same. So we can use this to represent C intersect B here. Then C, the property of C given a complement. So it means that the property of C intersect with a complement divided by the property of a complement. Well, given the question that the property of A, in the question given property of A equal to 0 0.4 here. So then the property of A complement equal to 1 minus 0 0.4, which is 0 0.6. Okay. So, property of C intersect with the A complement. Okay, so from the three diagram, uh, not from the Venn diagram here, let's say this is an event of A, event of B, 
and event of C. Okay, so <coughs> this is area of the property of uh, C intersect with A complete line. Okay, then it is equal to zero point three divided by zero point six. Which is equal to 1 over 2 or 0 0.5. Okay. A parcel is given to students Aziz and Bong. From past experience, know that from the Aziz and Bong will get the correct solution 0 0.65 and 0 0.6 respectively. If they attempt to solve the puzzle without consulting each other, find a property that the puzzle will solve correctly by both of them. Only one of them will get correct solution. So from here, you know that a puzzle is given to Aziz and Bong. So Aziz and Bong, the probability that Aziz and Bong will get correct solution is 0 0.65 and 0 0.6. Okay, so probability of Aziz getting correctly is 0 0.65. So if I list down here, property of Aziz will not get correctly equal to 0 0.35. And the property of Bong getting correct is 0 0.6. So the property of Bong getting incorrect is 0 0.4. So then the property of A, Aziz and Bong get correctly equal to property of A, 0 0.65 and 0 0.6 which is equal to 0 0.39 okay <coughs> and for question A question B probability of recall only one of them will get correct solution meaning that the probability of if abscess get correctly and or get incorrect or whether Aziz get incorrect intersect with Bong get correctly. Okay, so this one here now, the property of A intersect with multiply with property of B complement plus with property of A complement times with property of B. Okay, so this here now, property of Aziz get correctly 0.65. Property of B get incorrect, B complement 0 0.4. Plus with property of Aziz get incorrect is 0 0.35. Times with property of Bong get all correct, which is 0 0.6. So simplify these two, get the answers, it give you 0 0.47. Okay, so exercise as usual, I'm not going to solve in this video. I let all of you to try the question by yourself. And given provide if an answer here is 1 over 7. Okay, so try this question. Please refer to some of the reference book. Okay, so it helps you to understand the record the process of uh, solving this. Okay, for this question, okay, for this question, I'll give you the final answers given then. Uh, question A1, question A1, which is 3, 3 over 20, the final answer here, 3 over 20, and mathematics only, A2 equal to 3 over 10. Then question B, uh, the students have to render the term of this event is taking is record taking math is independent of the event taking biology. Okay, the two events are independent. Okay, so that is the final answer for this question. So that's all for today. And I do hope that uh, this video helps you and please do continue. 
video tutorial and PSPN. Good luck uh, for next coming PSPN examination. That's all. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a nice day.